Good morning and a happy new year. Uh, welcome back. It is January 2023. Fuck. I'm... I think I'm just concerned at how rapid life is passing me by. I'm having fun most of the time, but uh, I just feel... I just... It feels like I just want to press pause for a second. Just press pause. It's January already. Fuck me. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, back to life. I was actually supposed to go back to like reality or work or whatever next week. So the 9th of January. But to be honest, I just got a bit bored. I need, I just need to be busy. I just need to do stuff. Um, so I'm going to go back today a week early. Well, everyone else is going back today anyway. So I'll just join in. No one to hang out with. Um, I'm just, it was very nice being chill and doing nice things like drawing and watching movies and embroidery because that's all I've been doing for the past week and going on dog walks and laying in and snapping and just, just all that all that lovely stuff but um I just yeah I just miss um I just want to get back to my routine because I, I miss the I miss it I miss it so um I've just boot camped first one back absolutely thought I was gonna die at one point but I didn't and, they, and the first one back is always, it's always hard, but it, it gets easier from now on. Gonna go home, walk my girls, and I've got a very exciting day of doing inventory and tidying the office and giving it a sort. I just, I was just like playing with my camera settings just then. And um, oh, Lola's having a poo. Oh, they're both having a poo at the same time. I was doing something, playing with some camera setting, and I'd completely zoned out because I was in in de totally in the depths of my camera settings. And this dog, <laughs> this lovely Labrador, just appeared at my side. I just screamed. <laughs> it was so it made me jump. I just forgot where I was for a second. I just turned around at the owner and I'm so sorry. I just wasn't here for a moment. But yeah, it's a bit grey and dismal today, so it's not as pretty as um, in my last previous vlogs where I was walking around in a winter wonderland. Look at the state of my office. Ooh, what's today's task? It's tidy and all. Okay, so we are tidied away. Da da! Orders have been packed from over the past week. I took a kind of, obviously I was on a break, so I did say there'd be a delay of orders, but people were still kindly ordering, so I'm gonna bag them up. I need to check if Royal Mail are gonna pick them up today, but if not, I will take them to the sorting office later. But it's lunchtime. Bonjour, time has passed. I have tidied the office. I've made a good start at doing inventory. Um, most of like, all the prints are done, jewellery, half of the t-shirts, but it takes time. And to be honest, I was like, I got so tired towards the end of the day. Didn't sleep very well last night. So I was just like, right, what I'll do is I'll just finish the rest of it tomorrow. It's not dire. It's not like I'm going to sell out of anything or there's going to be huge problemos. Um, I have, however, made this. So I'm doing a January sale. I put a few bits in the sale, including Wild and Free t-shirt, this sheriff print, these earrings, that mug. I know people love that mug, so I put it in the sale just because I was like, oh, go on. This jumper and these earrings. There's loads of stuff in it. Like, I've just reduced a bunch of stuff just because I feel like it. <laughs> One thing that I have really learned and I, I, I can be a luxury for some people but the the power of just having a 20 minute or half an hour nap when you're feeling like a bit more I've just woken up and I feel like full of energy again just cooking my dinner I'm having some salmon I am just doing some microwave veg and I'm going to do some rice and for my lunch I had a chicken salad wrap here is my dinner I tried to take a bite of it just to Oh, I'm so hungry, <laughs> but it's too hot. So I'm just gonna go have to sit and wait for it to cool down. But I'm so hungry, oh. So I just went to boot camp again, not to exercise, but to, oi, get off my yogurt, but to <laughs> take pictures of the boot camp for Kat and James for like their Instagram. Um, so I went along to that. It's nice because I get to see the evening, evening lot. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just moisturized. 
So um, I'm pretty tired, but I want to watch some Shit's Creek. I've got myself a yogurt and um, a cup of tea, and we're just going to chill here for a little bit before we go to sleep. And you, Madame, Madame Piggy. Oh God! Get out! Oh God! Get in! So good night. Good morning. It is no. It's midday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> um, I got up at. Well, my alarm went off at uh, what was it like? The normal time, five forty-five. I was like, I'm going to go to normal gym today. Boot camp's not on on a Wednesday morning. It's on a Wednesday evening. So I was like, I'll go to normal gym. Gym and a swim in the morning, and um, I didn't get up. Just a really lazy morning. Just been got up and I'm here now. Um, Wednesdays, I'm like back at work. Managers won't expect to be back till next week. So this was just my voluntary, I'm a bit bored so I'm gonna start doing some work now. But Wellness Wednesdays was a thing that I was doing last year and I think I might, I might bring it back when I'm not like having busy periods of time. What I really want out of Wellness Wednesdays is just doing, moving my body and doing stuff that feels good. Exercising, going on walks. And I've got loads of crafting and like craft kits. People love to buy me craft kits. To be fair, I do ask for them because I love it. So I've got like gin making to do, soap making, clay kit, uh, stained glass window kit, all this stuff. And I think it would be fun to spend Wednesdays doing that. Not, 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 not today though, because I do need to finish doing my inventory today. Um, when I get home. I just wanted to have a real quick chat in the, like before I go in um, to talk about like my resolution. Not the, it's not, no, let me reword that. So I'm not, I'm not really um, a believer in resolutions at all. Like I think you can set intentions for yourself and goals for yourself because at the end of the day, New Year's is just another day in it. It's just another day. Like we invented the calendar pretty much all right so it's just another day I guess in terms of measuring I am gonna do a video on this I think in terms of measuring it's a good thing to look at and be like that was a year this is a year what was it in the last year that I feel like I can be better at or not even be better at what do I want to do more of what would I like to do less of it's just a time to reflect and be like cool let's try and implement some change or some intentions for this year um, but you don't have to do that if you're content like you don't have to do any of that shit. Anyway, I'll get to the point. So I am going to be doing a 10 week shred with the boot camp lot. I don't believe in New Year's diets at all. In fact, I am infuriated with the amount of fucking ads I'm seeing, which are promoting essentially dieting and weight loss. Just even down to like Muller Light being like, hello, January, let's do this or something like that. And then like even ASOS, a fucking open ASOS on Boxing Day and the top thing is gym wear. That just pisses me off because it's like, as a society, capitalist world that we live in, it's like, here it's Christmas time, eat, 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 binge, like eat, um, indulge, do all these things, take a break, have all this luxurious food and alcohol and go party and festive, you know, all that shit. And as soon as it can hit January 1st, it's like, now you need to feel terrible about yourself. So join Weight Watchers, join Slimming World, buy new gym gear, go do this, all of that stuff. And I'm about to contradict myself with this next statement because I'm doing a 10 week shred with the gym, not because it's January, not because I feel shit about myself because of Christmas, but because there's a bunch of other people doing it and I need that support. And I, I will be completely honest, I gained weight over lockdown, haven't shaken it off. You were to ask me if, I ha if I'm happy with my body, I would answer if I had to stay like this for the rest of my life, I could deal with it. But quite honestly, I am not, 100% content with the way that my body looks right now. I have tried by myself and I'm not very good at it. I'm not very good at it. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of diet culture and what it does to people. I think it's more so the expectation or like the mind fuckery that you should eat all this food but then also feel shit about yourself. Like, there's, it's just such a complex topic but the only way in which to trim up my body and lose body fat because of, which I'm not happy with is to go on a calorie deficit and that's what I'm gonna have to do and be mindful of what I'm eating obviously my ADHD 
I do find it very difficult to stick to routines. I do find it very difficult to stick to patterns because I get bored of it. The novelty wears off. I get bored. I want to do something else. And the 10 week shred, given that it's starting in January, whatever, they could have done it in the middle of the year. I still would have joined the 10 week shred. There's a bunch of us doing it. There's a group chat. There's weekly like meetings or not. They're not like wear yourself, but it's like, go there for advice they set up some different exercises that we can do if we want to i went last night to take pictures of it i didn't join in and it's just a community where we're all holding ourselves accountable but also there for support for guidance and we're all in the same boat we're doing the same thing and i thought i would jump on board with that because i think if it's going to be a time where i can really focus on something it's right now and especially with like my recent breakup i think focusing on myself and doing something doing something where i can prove to myself that i can be consistent i can be resilient i can be disciplined and the, the result of that is at the end losing a bit of weight and feeling better in my body then that's fucking brilliant because actually really it is mostly to prove to myself that I can do something like this. For some of you that have been here for a while, you're probably rolling your eyes going, here she goes again. But you know what though? I don't care. I've been on YouTube since 2011. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit here and finish my black coffee. Got two shots of espresso, cause I want that pup. <sighs> I'm back. I've gymmed, swimmed, and just walk and walk the dogs. I was going to walk and walk the dogs. I need a I need lunch. A very late lunch, as uh, in fact, it's like three o'clock or three or whatever it is. I'm fucking starving. <sighs> Brilliant. And a very flat tire. Uh, driving to boot camp felt really strange this morning. Didn't feel right at all. And then I get out of the car, I have a look at my tire, and yeah, behold, it is flat. So we waited until, well, boot camp finished at half seven. I waited until half eight until this place opened. But I got in the car again and I was like, I cannot drive this. It is so flat i can literally feel the, the the alloy or the wheel on the ground so i have an emergency pump kit in the back of my car so we pumped it up it didn't really get it much pumpier or more more air in it but i finally got it enough to, to drive round the corner to this place but they can't do it until this afternoon so i'm having to get a taxi home so i can at least sort my life out He's gonna give me a call when it's done. But <laughs> two hours have just passed since the boot camp finished. I'm back, just got my taxi, but I'm now dealing with an example of when something doesn't go to plan or something skews up my day and I also, I now don't know what to do with myself and I can't focus. I feel like I'm scatterbrains. I'm all over the place, I, I can't, I'm just like this. So I've put my headphones in. I'm going to put on something which can channel my focus. Probably, I just feel like some music right now and then I'll put on a podcast and then I can hone in on the things that I need to do. And I feel like this is just where, I need to, re I need to recenter myself, really, because I'm currently just like blah, blah, and I've got this to-do list, but I also need to walk the dogs and I need to have breakfast, but that was two hours ago and now I'm panicking because now I've also got this thought in my head that I've got to go back and get my car around two o'clock, which is going to be around the time I wanted to do this other, th like another thing on my to-do list. So I'm just, I know stuff like this for, for most people is like, oh, it's an inconvenience but it's an and it's annoying. But for me, it's very much, <laughs> and other people who are like me, uh, it is very much like this has fucked my brain for the day. I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know where I'm, where I'm coming or going. I don't know where to start. What do I do? If I do this now, I can't do It's just a spiral. It's a ripple effect. And it's just... So I need to try and centre myself. So I am going to just put some music on. Going to have some breakfast. Have some porridge. And then I'll get ready. And then I'll, I'll figure out... What, I'll walk the dogs at some point today. That. <laughs> so I've been in the office packing orders i'm now making some lunch 
So I'm gonna have a chicken and rice salad and I'm gonna use the rest of it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Guess what's made a return? The chopper. Yeah, baby. Good news, my car is back. So I finished packing. I was very shocked actually with how many orders that I had today. I wasn't expecting that many, but I got them all done. And pardon me, and the postman come and pick them up. And then I went and got my car and dropped 245 pounds. And he said to me when I'm in there, you'll need to do your front too soon. So I'm like, great, love my car. I love my car so much, but Jesus, you tested me. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today. My sister told me to do a COVID test because it's on the rise. I'm clear, I don't have it. It's been a bit of a slow day. A bit of a, it's been a bit of a poopy poop, poo. it's been a bit of a poopy day, but I mean, I, I, not like, I feel fine. It's just not gone to plan. So I've just pushed everything back, it's fine. But I've got my orders done. I do feel a bit rough though, so I might just go chill out now because kind of not up for doing anything else. It's not their dinner time yet, but she's been doing this for the past hour. Just everywhere I go, just circling, jumping and looking and crying. I know it's because she wants her dinner, but I need a nickname for this because it's kind of like Twinkle Toes because I can just hear her little claws on the tiles. Do I call it Hungry Feet? Anyone got any suggestions? Please let me know. Gonna put on some Shit's Creek because it's what I love to do at the minute in the morning, I in the, in the evening. I started watching it before Christmas, but I've really, 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 season six or season, season six, let's have a look. Season six, episode nine. Oh my God. Good morning. It's Saturday. I've decided to go to the boxing class. Yeah, after not feeling particularly well on Thursday, I decided to not go yesterday. I was just like, I just think I could rest my body. I'm now gonna go to Connor's house. Cause he's gonna give me a he's gonna give me a guitar lesson. Okay, I may have quickly gone home to get dressed or showered at least, cause I was pretty sweaty. And then I called him. I said, "Do you mind if I just pop out a quick shower?" He said, "No." And I feel ready for the day, baby. Is that it? Yeah. And I can use that anywhere so does that I make want. Make sense to you? Yes. Good. It does. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Thanks. So you make a riff. So that's right, just any, the major scale. Is there any more scales? There's loads. Go on, do another one. Hundreds. Go on, do another one. All right. Do like a heavy metal scale. <laughs> yeah, do a minor scale. Yeah, do a minor scale. So who taught you how to write? <laughs> my mum, I guess. <laughs> that's just she, funny. She's left-handed. I'm left-handed. Didn't translate. Never properly. seen anyone clutch a pen like that. Mm -hmm. Oh well, you know I have a permanent lump on my finger from where I hold my pen, so. You're all right. Yeah. Me and my husband, Heidi, have just enjoyed a lovely Nando's meal. We're spitting. I look like a murderer. Oh, you've got a hood. My curls are going to go all soggy. We're going to go to a pub called The Reindeer because a band are playing. Both of us aren't drinking because I'm not drinking in January. She's on antibiotics. We're watching this really fun band play. They're called The Loving Handful. Sunday and I've just got absolutely drenched on a dog walk. I just met my friend Katie and um, we went to walk the, the, we went and walked all our dogs and it was okay like we were in our raincoats it was just spitting and then when we were out it hailed like sideways and so everyone is soaked. Dogs are really really annoyed. No 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 Lola come on because you're really wet and you'll end up just going on my bed getting all your wetness on it. Diane ran and hid in a hedge because she didn't want to come out. I was trying to put them on their lead. 
My bum is soaked. Very, very wet. <laughs> I'm gonna go put my trackies on or something. Cozied up with a sort of a, that's not even a roast. <laughs> but I've got Linda McCartney sausages, roasted sweet potato, greens, and a hell of a lot of gravy. I put up the other day, like, when I was doing some content planning, um, what would you guys like to see? A few people asked to see what I got for Christmas. Now, I'm not gonna do a full dedicated video to that, so I'm gonna go and show you what I got for Christmas. Um, I'm just gonna go around the house and show you rather than bring it all down here. I got this book, Period Power by Maisie Hill. I originally wanted this book I've been saying I've been wanting this book for ages and my mum was like, oh, okay. So mum got me that. Obviously I've been um, listening to her podcast, which is incredible. Punish your hormones, get your cycle working for you. And it's just really informative, like about periods, your cycle, um, all about the different phases in your cycle, what that can mean. Um, and obviously talking about other like problems like PMDD and PMS, PCOS, all sorts of stuff. and. I've, I've been told that it's a great book and some like also like wellness stuff thrown in there as well So I got that and I'm gonna be getting on reading that this book which Is a bit of me. This is life honestly strong opinions from smart women. So I love that That's really really cool anything else in the living room. Oh, I got another true grace candle Which I've loved this one. This is rosemary and eucalyptus one of my favourites, so I've got another one of those because I love that candle. This vase, I was saying that I don't have many vases, so my mum got me this beautiful vase, so I need to get some beautiful flowers to go in it, so I'm going to have to buy myself some flowers this week. I got some truffle oil, fucking love truffle, so truffle oil, some nice fancy truffle oil, and I also got some garlic aioli. <laughs> Just random, innit? I got lush bath bombs and bath stuff, but I've used them up already. But I also got some bath salts. I got this perfume, which is um, by L'Artisan Parfumerie, and it's Venimum. Ven Venimum. Venom. Venom. I found it in Paris. I picked it up in Paris and was like sniffing it and was like, this is so good. So um, I got that, which is a real treat, and it smells absolutely divine. Excuse my sock drawer, but I got loads of socks like this, like sports socks. Just nice, like loads of people just got me socks, sports socks. I got some like Adidas ones. Where are they, the Adidas ones? Adidas. I love sports socks, because I just, I love, for the gym and stuff, they're just great. I wear them up over my leggings, like, an old, like a sporty little bitch. I got this Create Your Own Comic Book book from my dad, and they also got me a gin making kit, and then my management, got me this pottery making, which is so cute, because I just love, oh, I just can't wait to get more crafty. Like, oh, my hair, my hair looks crazy. That's like what I want to start doing more, especially like Wellness Wednesday is having like craft days. So that's basically what I got for Christmas. So, you know, I've got a small family. I don't, we and we don't go crazy for gifts. So if you want like a real, <laughs> a more real, like what I got for Christmas, that is that. I know like some thumb influencers out there put like crazy shit like, oh, I got the Dyson Airwrap and a new computer and a car and stuff. No, no, I got socks and candles and mayonnaise and, and, a, and a gorgeous perfume. Um, but yeah, that is what I got for Christmas. Mm -hmm.